So my dudes, Valk here, and today I'm going to be talking about the new event, how much I love the event. If you guys were in a stream, you guys know I blasted through the event. Well, not blasted through it, but I spent about two hours beating my forehead against the wall until I got a perfect clear at max difficulty with no food buffs. I'm going to have a short clip because I had the settings kind of messed up, so I didn't wasn't able to clip the whole fight, but I clipped like the last 15 seconds or so, so you guys can at least a clear, see the clear. And then I'm going to explain my strategy for you guys while I go through it now. I'm going to do it way easier than what it was. But this is a team I use. Xiao, Zhongli, Jean, and Albedo. Albedo is really, really good for this. Um, one of the main things to remember is how RNG this is going to be. How RNG this run is. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm a TP over there. You know, I always like... I'm going to go ahead and just, you know... I know I'm going to cut out the, cut, the little teleport scenes, but... Uh, I just, uh, I really like it because I guess to show off the PS5 optimization, right? Watch how fast this is. Boom, right there. I've, the optimization, now the cutscenes, our loading scenes are even shorter because they did an optimization update overnight and it's, it's wild. Anyways, let me get into the strat and let me explain how I did it. I don't know if how I did it's going to help you guys, but as you can see, high score 8,000. You can see I perfect cleared it. No food buffs. I'm going to post the little clip at the very end of this video so you guys can see it. Well, actually, I'll post the little clip probably about right now. Single target, baby. The Classica. Woo! There we go. We did it. Finally. Finally, bro. And now I'm going to explain how I did that. And basically, we're going to go into it. So the energy amplifier, this is the buffs that I did use. I didn't want to use food, but I did use these. These are the five that I used. Um, basically, some of them are kind of worthless, but this is really, really good. Uh, so you're going to want to charge attack people low HP. But there's going to be a way to do everything. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the time limit and I'll keep everything else up so you can see how I do it. But I'm just going to turn down the time limit just to show you guys how I did it all. So max difficulty, max everything. Only thing that's not there is the, um, the only thing that's not there is the time limit because doing this in a time limit was a real hard part. Now the very first part here. This is the RNG. So if you're using Albedo and Zhongli, you're going to want to put down the Albedo flower right around here. You're going to want to turn Zhongli around. Then you're going to want to turn to Xiao. And you're not... If you have C6, which I know most of you don't, but if you have C6, you're not going to want to use C6 here. You're going to want to just plunge and keep them stunlocked because if they get out of stunlock, they will spin and they will either kill you or then they will disappear immediately after. That's wave one. Then wave two, they're going to spawn in a giant Geo Bishop right here and a little guy. You're going to want to focus on the big guy, and this is where RNG is going to come into play. RNG is in play in the very first one, too, because the little guys like to avoid you. So what you're going to do, you're going to work on getting your Shao ult back up. Then you're going to try to set up with Zhongli's little uh, flower down. You're going to want to get Zhong, not Zhongli, Albedo's flower down. Then you want to get Zhongli's shield up, and you're going to put your back to a wall. The reason is that is they'll both come towards you, and then... Whenever you go ahead and do that, you're going to pop Xiao's ult, you're going to do one plunge, and then you're going to dash backwards, and then you're going to start plunging back into them. It's going to press them into the wall so they can't escape. That's the strat for wave two, and you're going to use that for wave three as well. Now, wave three is going to be the big decider because they're just giant meat chunks, but I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an idea of how it goes. Hopefully, this run goes well. If it doesn't go well, I don't care. I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep trying this because I spent two hours to get a perfect clear. I'm not going to keep doing it. But yeah, basically I'm doing this without the time limit, so I'm just going to give you guys an idea of how this strat works. You go ahead, do this with Zhongli, then you can go and ult right away with Xiao, because if you do that, they're going to go ahead and come at you. And you can see right here that you just need to keep make sure you keep them stunlocked. As you can see by me plunging, they can't really move. See how he went ahead and did that, so now we're trying to burst him down before he does that. Because now he's away, the only question is how much HP did he survive with? I have no idea. You gotta wait for him to stop. About half. Uh, this is kind of doable. But I'm just gonna go and show you. Because as you can see, he even avoided that. These little assholes. Well, I wasn't gonna cuss in a YouTube video. These little bungholes go ahead and they avoid a lot of damage. And they're really, really annoying to deal with. But that's the strat for wave 1. So now wave 2, just like I explained before. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna get uh, Zhongli's ult ready. 
We gotta make sure that you do not get hit by those, especially with no shield up. Um, you wanna make sure you have Xiao's ult ready, I mean, and then Zhongli is kind of like a plus one. But now we gotta wait for Jean because we gotta heal a little bit, because, uh, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this healing field. We're gonna put Xiao over here in a corner, and we're gonna start plunging. And we're gonna go ahead and try to get them on the other side. Now we can just plunge like crazy. And we can make sure to keep the little dude stunned. The little dude is your biggest priority there. You want to make sure the little guy stays stunned. And then now you just go right back to stunning him. You're going to beat him just like normal. Ideally though, you hit them both at the same time. You group them up and you can deal AoE damage. Because AoE damage is really the only way you're going to be able to clear this without any food buffs. You could get all sorts of in-depth instantation. You can get all sorts of vials and you can go Super Saiyan on it. That's always a possibility, but I didn't want that. I wanted to use what the game gave me. I didn't want to do like anything extra extra. So I was like, you know. Well, this is basically it. Now you're just going to do this all the way to phase two. You're going to try not to use Shao's ult. Another strat I was using was whenever he was low like this, I would burn Shao's ult go ahead. The reason I would do that, there's an actual reason for it, um, is because now they're going to spawn in, right? And once they spawn in, you're going to have to try to pick one and stick to it. Just pick one V-ship and stick to him. Don't worry about chasing the other bishop down. He'll come to you. So you can go ahead and do it like that. Um, make sure you keep your team very healed because you're going to have reduced healing. You're not going to have much stamina. You're going to need a shielder. I got to make sure to throw that out there. You're going to need some form of a shield to do this. I don't see a world where you can do this without a shield. Uh, Zhongli just happens to be really good at that, as I'm sure everybody knows. But yeah. Like I said, this is basically it. I'm not going for the record time because I already did it. I'm just showing you guys how I did it. Um, it's not, like, nothing revolutionary. The main thing, the hardest thing, is getting the little Geo Bishops at the very beginning. Even that run was scuffed. You want to try to kill them both at the same time and keep them both extremely busy. Um, but then whenever it comes to this, you just got to make sure you're dodging and not getting hit by nothing. As you can see, I'm timing my jumps, timing my jump cancel so I don't get hit. And that's why you don't want to get hit. You can see it was just a fucking nuke. It was a nuclear bomb that hit me, right? So you want to make sure you do not get hit because you're going to take a lot of damage if you do. Like a lot of damage if you get hit. But yeah, just take your time. Um, for people not looking to perfect clear this because you really don't need to. For people not looking to do that, uh, then ignore all of this. This is just for people that want to full clear it. But you're basically just going to have to go light speed. This is a really slow clear, but like I said, I just wanted to show you guys how, how I did it. Essentially, I'm not <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and go until I get it again, you know, because that's just that's madness. I can't see what's going on. There you go. So, yeah, you guys can see it. That's essentially how I did it, except I did it within a time limit. You have to keep, you have to do these certain strats. This is how I figured everything out. Um, thank you all for watching, as always. I hope this helped all of you, even if you don't want a perfect clear. Hope this helped any of you in some form or fashion. I'm not just trying to flex. I'm actually uploading this to try to help. So thank you all for watching, as always. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Catch you all later. Peace.